YouTubers and welcome to another Doctor Who action figure review. In today's review I'm taking a look at the first of the Dalek Collector sets exclusive to Toys R Us which is the Children of the Revolution set which is in the three and three quarter inch scale. Now this pack did come out sometime last year, I think it was about Christmas, but I've only had it since around January and now I'm finally getting around to actually reviewing it. So let's begin by taking a look at the packaging. The figures come packaged in a blister card. The front of the box features the classic Doctor Who logo and the rest of the design features comic book style elements, seemingly inspired by some of the recent prints and calendars released utilising the same designs. The back of the box features the same comic book style design and also features a biography about the Daleks and also a bit of background on the Children of the Revolution comic book. So here we have our two Daleks. We have Dalek Alpha, the red Dalek, which we had previously seen released in the five inch range. Again, it was exclusive to Toys R Us. And we have a standard Dalek also from that story. Now, the Dalek here is gold, but personally, when I read the books, I never thought that those Daleks were gold. They looked orange to me, but nevertheless, it's a nice look very reminiscent of the Peter Cushing Dalek films. So let's begin by taking a look at the articulation. Both Daleks are exactly the same, it's exactly the same mould. So I'm just going to use one Dalek to show you the articulation. All very standard Dalek articulation. The head rotates, although this one is very stiff and doesn't really seem to want to go all the way around. Um, but it does rotate, just out of interest. Let's see if it works better on this one. Mm, a bit better, there we go. So you see he rotates all the way, right, out of the way of your articulations sucks. So, um, let's have a look. So, the head rotates. We have 360 degree movement at the ball joints for the plunger and for the gun arm. The eye stalk pivots up and down like so. You can get the Dalek looking down at an angle, which is good. And we also have three wheels on the bottom to move the Dalek around. And that's it. That's a Dalek. That's all we get for articulation, which is fair enough. So let's take a look at the detail. But well, we'll start with Dalek Alpha. So he comes in this really nice red colour, which I think when I reviewed the previous Dalek Alpha, I said it put me in the mind of a Daypole figure, because it was the red with the black hemispheres, which I really like. I really like red Daleks. Very nicely done. We've got some nice details here. If we start off with the eye stalk, that is just black and silver, the sort of bobble of the eye, that's black, and so are the discs. But you do have that small bit of silver going through the middle. If we look at the iris, you can see that that is just painted on, so there's no dip in the sculpt or anything like you get with the five inch figures. It's just painted on, and as you can see, there's a tiny little black dot. That is not meant to be a pupil, that is just where either the paint has rubbed off or the paint didn't cover correctly. Uh, so I will probably go back and fill that in at some point. And then on top of his head, there is the Greek letter alpha, which has been painted on in silver. This seems to be sat quite further up on this figure compared to how it was on the five inch figure. This is right up on the top of the dome. Whereas on the five inch figure, it was further down here, which I think was more accurate. If we look at the dome lights, they are part of the dome sculpt and those have just been painted white. And if we move down the neck bin, all of the ridges have been painted silver, but the mesh is a solid black, but we have this very good sculpt, which gives it a real mesh effect. And similarly, we have the same effect for the mesh going around the shoulder section of the Dalek with the solar slats. You've got the little bolts as well. It all looks very good. Unfortunately, you can see there is a bit of paint bleed or where the silver didn't quite cover the solar slats, but it isn't too bad. In terms of the gun and the plunger, these are very simple. You've got the gun, which is just several ridges on a rod just looks like the standard Dalek whisk gun and the Dalek plunger which is silver with the black plunger on the end. And then on the skirt we have the black hemispheres which have been painted in a black gloss so they really pick up the light as you can see they're really glistening under the lights here and that really stands out against the red of the rest of his skirt. Moving on to the gold standard Dalek, exactly the same as the other one, all of the same details because it is exactly the same mould. So we have all those nice details with the mesh around the shoulder section, around the neck bin. It's just, rather than red, it's gold. On this one you can see that the iris has been painted much better, so it's more central and there doesn't seem to be any rubs or anything. It might be a slight bit of fading, but really it's pretty good. One thing to note though, with this one, ah, 
there was a slight bit of paint rub on the top of his dome where the gold didn't cover the plastic entirely. It you can't really see it, well you can see it on camera. There were a few other little rubs and scratches of red paint as well on the top but I managed to get rid of those but sadly that just needs to be painted over so I'll have to get some gold paint at some point. But again something to be mindful of, I did look through quite a few of these Daleks while I was in Toys R Us and just like Dalek Alpha the hemispheres have been painted in a gloss black which really stand out against the gold. You can see a few little specks of black paint elsewhere on the skirt so be aware of paint bleed but otherwise it's very good. So here are the Children of the Revolution Daleks alongside the Mutant Scoop Dalek from Power of the Daleks. As you can see they are slightly taller, this is because of the large fender at the bottom, not the really big one that you get in Dark Invasion of Earth, but just the sort of standard one that began to creep in in the 1970s. But as you can see it does make for a lot of difference and if we compare these Daleks alongside one of the standard figures, so let's say the Tenth Doctor, you can see that they all seem pretty much in scale. If you remember when I reviewed the Mutant Scoop Dalek, I did say that I thought it looked quite small up to Peter Capaldi, but here you can see that the Daleks are really in scale, and I think it's just because those 60s Daleks are quite diddy. So overall, this is a really good set. It's a very interesting set because it's based on the comic books, which is something we don't really get to see very much in the action figure line. We've only had it a few times with the five inch figures, so it's cool to see that they're creeping into the three and three quarter inch figures as well. And especially because these make for some really nice Dalek designs, the red and the black, the gold and the black, they all look really nice, and especially the added silver as well. It really makes the designs pop. And I really like the packaging that they come in. Again, that's quite comic booky in itself. So it really does give a sense that it's Part of the Doctor Who line, but it's something different. It's something slightly other from the standard waves that we see elsewhere. So thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I also have the Dalek Invasion of Earth pack, which has the new series Daleks in classic colours. So I will review that at some point too. So thank you for watching, guys, and I shall see you next time.